for this. Welcome back to Lexington and the Red Mile. And with me, the general manager of the Red Mile, Kurt Green. Kurt, the filly, she did it today. She outtrotted the Colts and winning and fancy crown. And now we have the Breeders' Crown coming up again. How do you see this shaping up? Because we had two different heats the first time. Yeah, Kenny, the, the pace of both races was, was uh, very different. Uh, in the first heat, they went down to the half in 57 and 2, and the back half was in a minute. And um, Sven Hanover was able to hang on after making a real big move on the back stretch. Then in the next trip, uh, you know, they went pretty soft fractions of the first half in 59 seconds. Workaholic again made the move on the backstretch to, to take the lead and was strong in the lane. I, you know, the, the pace of the races is so different, it's difficult to tell how the final might shape up. Do you think Bone Sport was really tested in that first race? I mean, he had a relaxed race. Bone Sport had an outside post position, and that's very tough, and there was a strong pace in the race. Uh, I think he's a live horse coming into the race. Again, it'll, it'll depend on how the, uh, how the race sets up as far as the first half mile. Futurity Day's always big, and now the Breeders' Crown on top of it. A lot of action at the Red Mile. Uh, lots of action. Uh, the biggest day of racing, certainly in our history, and uh, in harness racing in Kentucky. Thank you, Kurt Green, General Manager of the Red Mile. Sam? They're just about ready. This, once again, will be the final race for the Breeders' Crown here at Lexington.